Good morning. Welcome back to the broadcast Retirement Network. I'm Jeff Snyder. This is BRNAM for Wednesday, July 27th, 2022. And our top story today, aging insights from reptiles and amphibians. Well, joining me now to discuss this and a lot more, Dr. Manuel Moro is with the Division of Aging Biology at the National Institute on Aging. Manuel, so great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us on the program this morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Yeah, uh, it's great to talk to you. And, and we're going to talk about aging, but from a little bit of a different perspective, you and the team at the Department of Aging Biology at NIH did some research around how other species age, in particularly amphibians and reptiles. Tell us about some of the differences. How, how, why is this research so important? Okay, yes. Let, let me clarify one Issue. We at the national, at the division of uh, <clears throat> at the National Institute of Aging, we provide. Uh, we are scientists, but we provide, uh, in this case, funds for researchers across the, the country, uh, uh, across the U.S., to perform this unique type of, of research. So in this case, uh, we we focus on aging, the aging process. So basically, what we we are doing is comp studying comparative species. How is the aging? Uh, affecting other species uh, because we can learn lessons that we could be applied to humans. Yeah, really important. And, and again, you know, I mean, we're all on the same planet. We all have the same forces theoretically exerted on us. So there's a lot of lessons there. Uh, at just at the very high level, what are some of the differences that um, maybe exist in terms of how we age and how some of the other species on the planet age. I, this is so fascinating to me because I grew up watching Marlon Perkins' uh, show on Animal Kingdom and I love watching those gazelles get chased. But, you know, they, some of these animals age very differently than us as humans. What, why the difference? What's, what's the difference? Well, really the, the difference, what we, are, well, we, what we know and we are le still learning is that a tremendous difference in more in some groups, some species, like for example, in cold blood animals in contrast with mammals and birds. Uh, we know that uh, size of the particular species, of particular animal makes a difference. And also, and this is very important, the exposure, the environment that plays a crucial role in how an individual will get, uh, age faster or slower. But again, I want to emphasize this is not a, a black and white uh, answer. In science, there are very few areas that is really black and white. What we're doing is that we have, now we know uh, a lot more about the aging process. Uh, but again, there's a tremendous age uh, differences between the different species. Uh, some species like, uh, for example, a killifish is a type of fish that lives in uh, several, uh, several areas of the world, especially in Africa, they live for weeks. And then you have uh, certain species of whales that can live up to over 100, 200 years. But the, but, but the big champions in long life are certain co-blooded fish that can, uh, in Greenland, the Greenland shark that can go over, for example, three, four hundred years of, of age. Yeah, and, and really good point that there's no absolutes in science, right? I mean, that, that's, that's the whole point of it's trial and error. It's, it's learning. I, you know, uh, you're always proving and reproving hypotheses. Let, let me just drill down a little bit. You, you mentioned cold-blooded animals, but what are some of the other differences? Obviously, we're mammals. Um, or for those who didn't know, and my, you know, myself included, we're mammals. But there are differences between how mammals age versus cold-blooded animals like reptiles. Exactly, and that uh, a huge, of course, a huge difference. And as the term said, cold-blooded animals, they are uh, they don't have control of the, of the temperature of their internal temperature. They they um, basically, depending on the environment. Uh, they will have more activity or less activity. When the temperature goes up, there is warmer, they tend to have more activity, but they're extremely dependent on the environment. Instead, mammals like birds and, uh, excuse, excuse me, mammals and, 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 and birds, they, they control the, the temperature. 
the, the temperature is constant and they, they, that, that allows to a better adaptation to the environment. Yeah. Last question before we go to uh, uh, the commercial break here. Let's talk about physical protection because many species on the planet, like a tortoise, has a shell. There are others that have poison, defensive mechanisms. How important uh, is that protection uh, that is, uh, I guess, it has naturally evolved? How important is that to the aging process for some of these species on the planet? Well, this is one of the significant contributions of this study, of this, this uh, paper that you are cited and, and was funded by us, this, this uh, um, scientific work. Uh, it shows really that even in a small species, independent, regardless of the size, they are, they are adaptation to the environment and protection about predators could be the key for several species. For turtles, for example, the shell provides a unique protection. It makes it more difficult for, for predators to get to them so they can live a longer life uh, instead of, of if they didn't have this protection. The same thing is with some, some snakes that they have uh, some other mechanisms to, 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 protect, to be protected against predators. So really that makes difference. And again, there's a tremendous difference between the different species. So basically, this is an example of protection from the environment, and, they, and it's showing that the animals really can live long, long lives if they are protected from, from the environment, from predators. Yeah, yeah. Well, Dr. Morrow, I need to take a very quick break, and we can come back. We'll talk more about aging and some of the lessons from this research, but also some conservation strategies. You're going to want to stay tuned right here on BRN AM. Imagine a new television network that will make you richer, healthier, and in control of your financial future. This network is for the policewoman in Nashville, Tennessee, the baker in Dubuque, Iowa, the teacher in Lexington, Kentucky. We want to make the idea of savings and retirement culturally relevant. But what do you see as a defining issue of the midterms? Especially for the smaller businesses. I mean, they are the lifeblood of the American economy. Featuring exclusive interviews, current affairs, and docu-series. 33 yeah. years old, you retired early. The philosophy is money only matters if it helps you live a life that you love. But you gotta start thinking about retirement as soon as you get in. The Broadcast Retirement Network will drive very high engagement with premium partnerships. So this isn't retirement and savings for your parents or grandparents. This is for all Americans. And we're gonna change the way you think about money. Welcome to the next frontier of retirement and savings. This is BRN, the Broadcast Retirement Network. Are you stuck with a low credit score? A credit report and score that's causing you to be denied credit or pay higher interest rates than others for the same things? Then do what Terrence did and called Credit Repaired for your free credit evaluation to help restore your credit. I started thinking about buying a new house and my score wasn't where I needed it to be. I called and spoke with one of the representatives and we just had a good conversation and I, I liked what he was saying. Just one call for his free credit evaluation was all it took to start back on the track to repairing his credit. I'm seeing the deletions and I'm getting the report so I know something's being done. It does make a difference to me. All it takes is one call to get started. Credit repair has given me a second chance to have a better credit score. Don't let a low credit score hold you back another day. Do what Terrence did and make the call for your free credit evaluation. Call 800-819-4152. That's 800-819-4152. Again, 800-819-4152. Welcome back. We're joined this morning by Dr. Manuel Moro from the Division of Aging Biology at the National Institute on Aging. Manuel, thanks so much for staying with us this morning. Well, thanks to you again. Yeah, this, this is a great conversation. And I want to ask you, how important is the environment that we live to, to aging for, for 
the species that uh, you all have studied? Is the environment, uh, you know, where the, the, the climate, uh, the heat, the cold, how important is that to how we age? Well, we know that one of the big drivers of aging is, is environment. Uh, and what this, this research is, is showing is how important for, certain, for several species, especially reptiles, turtles, the, the protection from this environment, protection against uh, <clears throat> predators is crucial. In this case, for example, having shells is crucial. If, if we remove in some way that we are going to contribute to the extinction, potential extinction of one species. Yeah, and, and, and that's why it's important for all of us to do our part when it comes to protecting the environment to make sure that the species that we're talking about here, but also us as humans get to age. And, you know, I would like to be, I'm trying to, I'm shooting for 150. So I'd like to live to about 150. I'm still working on that. I guess I'll let you know how it all works out in the end. Um, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the skills and techniques that have come from this research. Um, how does this, does this apply to the study of aging? Because you all are doing some really interesting, intricate uh, techniques. And I would imagine that this ports over very well to the general study of aging. Yeah, I will say yes, but one of them, if, if, I, if I can mention a couple of important points on, 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 the, on the work in general. This is an example, this type of study is an example of how science now is not a one person's job or work. This is the work, the, 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 these results are, are the product of several hundreds of scientists working in different countries in different environments of the world. So crucial interactions, networking and working together is, is, is one of the most important ways of working now to try to answer, uh, I mean, questions, uh, not only for aging, but in general for, for science. Science is much more complex. And this is an excellent example of how uh, scientists from across the world can work together, get an immense amount of data because data is crucial. Uh, I mean, that's the reason papers are much better now than in the past. So that's one of the best lessons from one of the best lessons from working together in, in, uh, in for this paper for this uh, work. Yeah, and that's the beauty of right technology, the ability to. In, exactly. almost, in, almost instantaneous, just like you and I are chatting, but almost instantaneously share information mm -hmm. and to kind of build upon it. I guess the last question here, Emmanuel, is, um, mm -hmm. look, uh, what are some lessons here for human beings? And, you know, what can I say? You know, trying to, try, trying to, trying to figure out um, what we can take away from this. Clearly, human beings are not going to grow a tortoise shell. We're probably not going to have uh, poison as a defense. But there are some lessons that for those studying human aging can take from this research? There are several lessons. One of them is, of course, is science is very complex. Like I said before, science is not black and white. Aging is, is very complex. It's not one particular way of explaining uh, everything in, in, uh, in, in the aging process. What this, this uh, beautiful work have shown is how, how uh, a protection from the, the, controlling certain parts of the environment, in this case, shells will protect se several species that allow them to age to a really, really long life. So in our case, humans, we control, of course, our, most of our predators. The predators really are ourselves. In other words, we have to, to, to be careful about our environment, but we have control of that. We know certain toxics, we know certain environments that are are, are, will accelerate aging. So we have to either by measures, by implementation of certain guidelines, uh, protect our population, follow those guidelines, and then we will have an improved quality of uh, health span and lifespan. Yeah, well, it, I, I, I think there are a lot of lessons here. I think people need to read the paper. And uh, you know, we'll be looking for more from the scientific community on improving aging and improving how we age, not just living longer, but also improving exactly. the quality of life. Dr. Manuel Moro, thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to having you back on the program again very soon, sir. Thank you very much. That wraps up this episode of BRN AM. Have a topic of interest, somebody you think we should talk to, drop us a line and don't forget for all the latest curated news and lifestyle, wellness, finance, tech, so much more all in one place, check out today's edition of our daily newsletter, The Morning Pulse. Want to search our archives, check out our latest content? Well, visit our website. That's www.broadcastretirementnetwork.com. And of course, our streaming partners. 
We're back again tomorrow for another edition of BRN AM. Until then, I'm Jeff Snyder. Stay safe, keep on saving, and don't forget, roll with the changes. Now is your opportunity to co-create content around any topic on the first lifestyle and wellness network. Reach a global audience through our platform and co-own exclusive branded content. All of our programs are available on demand and also as audio only podcasts so you can take us on the go. Broadcast Retirement Network, available anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Are you being audited? And do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The Tax Doctor is here to help you negotiate your tax bill and reduce your stress. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts, but you can stop these IRS actions. The Tax Doctor will work with you using our years of experience to represent your case to help you get the best resolution under the IRS guidelines. Help is here to deal with the IRS to reduce your stress. We've handled thousands of cases, so we know what we're doing. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a Tax Doctor now for a tax emergency analysis. Call 800-224-6439.